I love you. I love you. I love you. What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine, and my handsome nephews, Divine Masculine, if you up in here, welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. I know y'all saying, where's Oscar? Oscar will be here in a few minutes. As I get off into this reading, I want to tell you where he's on his way back from. Louisiana, 701-27. Shout out to Rebecca Adams. Now, let me say, when you guys are in the comment section, and if you are if, if you see that I haven't hearted your comment, it means either that you have put in the comments where you want Oscar to pick him, them up from, or it was a special response that I asked, and that's why I haven't um, hearted it, or it's because I'm waiting to give you a shout out. So when you see the comments and you see everybody else comment and came up and mine haven't came up, oh, uh, why she didn't heart mine, but she hearted everybody else. That's because you're about to get a special shout out or either I haven't seen it. So the first shout out goes to Rebecca Adams, Louisiana. She wants Oscar to come to pick up a karmic clown. 7002 also from Rebecca. Also Natasha Jones. MVD MV four DD okay one one seven oh one shout out to Natasha okay shout out to Karen Pettiford Fayetteville Fayetteville North Carolina she wants Oscar okay and um I want to give a shout out to Melanin Mommy 363 for telling me that the tower is Scorpio energy. Okay. And I love reading y'all y'all comments. I read them. I read them. Right about now, all of these are, are comments. You can't see them. But they're, they're all comments, okay? So when I don't heart it, that means I haven't, I haven't um, came across it yet. But Divine Feminine, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you for the, to the new subscribers for joining our Soul Tribe. I do want to get to the point back back to the point where I'm actually helping you heal um, the membership and all of that. Um, I don't have that going. I've turned it off because I don't want, you know, to be disloyal to some of you by telling you I'm going to have certain things, but I have a lot of things going on in my life personally. So um, I can't get to certain things at certain times. But this reading, Divine Feminine, Please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. This is a general reading, okay? So it may have happened in the past. It may have happened currently for some of you. It may be some energy coming towards you, okay? So take it where it resonates. You guys remember how I do the lights. For me to do all of that and, and I have to... You know, get extra plugs in my room. I only have two plugs in my entire bedroom. One on that side and one on this side. I got my TV hooked up, my fan hooked up, my laptop, my surround sound, my 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 little lights over there. All of that. So I got extra plugs up in here. But um this reading overall. I've already got three cards out here for you, 
Okay. The first card that came out. Now, this is an apology. But this apology, it could like have some strings attached to it. This could be for some of you a fake apology. For some of you, this could mean somebody is wanting to apologize to you, but they're scared. For some of you, this could mean that you feel like someone owes you an apology and they just haven't apologized to you yet. Now, as, as I'm looking at the other two cards, y'all make sure you hit that thumbs up. This is an apology from a snake. Okay. Now, for some of you, this snake can be your ex. But when I look at this snake, whoever they are, they have a lot of temptation around them. A lot. See all of those apples? That's a lot of temptation. So, if this snake is coming towards you, you may be aware that this is a fake apology because they got a lot of temptation. They got a lot of options. And whoever this snake is, they done, they either they don't have a job or they lost their job. They could have got fired. They could have quit. But they ain't got no job. Now, for some of you, this could also mean somebody could have got you fired and they are coming with a fake-ass apology. Somebody could be the reason why you're not working no more. You could have left the job behind somebody. Somebody could have got you fired and now they coming with the apology. And if, if this is if you know that this is a snake, this snake fell on the floor. This could mean that you're not accepting an apology from this person because they could have got you fired. And you could be like, fuck your apology. You got, I lost my job behind you. That's for somebody. So, now, this person, I'm getting that they could have got you fired from your job. And now they not there. And they coming to apologize. And that's the only reason they coming to apologize is because either they got fired too. Something happened to where you know, it, it's it's like if they involved you in something and you got fired for it, they're only they're only coming to apologize because they got fired too, or they lost their job. They may be at a at a whole different company in a whole different industry at work, but they could have did something to you to make you lose your job. Y'all may not even work in it. It could be in a whole nother part of the world. But it's a fake ass apology. From a snake. That lost their job. Now, like I said, they could have caused you to lose your job. So give me three more on this snake, Holy Spirit. That's coming with the apology. What is the apology about? Oh, shit. Okay. Somebody got fired because you got accused of stealing something. They the one who stole the shit. And you got fired for it. 
Damn. See? Death out here. Yeah, it, it, it. You got fired because somebody stole some shit. You lost your job. Or you quit. You ended something because somebody could have tried to blame you. Scorpio energy out here. Yeah, they coming with a fake ass apology. This person is the snake. They're the thief. I ain't gonna hold this too long. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this snake when it comes to the divine collective. If this is resonating with you, hit that thumbs up. Pathway, praying, and the gift. A blessing, a prayer. The cross represents the Most High God. The cross can represent a lot of different things if you really break it down. How Jesus was, you know, he was sacrificed. He was crucified for all of our sins. So you was the sacrificial lamb, as far as I see. It's like you lost your job behind somebody else stealing. They accused you. So somebody may be trying to come and give you a gift now with the apology. They coming. They coming. They coming with a fake ass apology. I got to say. They coming with a fake ass apology. For either for for you getting fired or losing your job. Whoever this fake ass snake is, this apology is fake because they was praying for some shit to end for you. Ain't that fucked up? Look, they was praying for some shit to come to an end. They was, they was wanting, wanting things to come to an end. Praying that you, that, that you get fired. Praying that you lose your job. They stole something. Shit is coming to an end for whoever this snake is. I can switch these cards around different ways. And that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to pull one more card. And I'm going to keep these same energies out here. And switch it around so... You will see how the dip, how the energy is fluent. It can be different for everybody. I need to start doing that on all my readings. Just stick with nine cards from the beginning and switch the energy around and then tell you the signs of who you're dealing with. But out here right about now, somebody is definitely dealing with the Scorpio energy. Shout out to Scorpio. Okay, I'm Scorpio. And um, Scorpio brings death and somebody's dealing with the Gemini, with the lovers out here. Four more fell out. The wishing well in reverse. Spying. Somebody could have hired a private investigator. A wealthy man in reverse. Oh, shit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Wealthy man in reverse. The courthouse out here. Private investigator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Divine feminine, divine masculine. I don't know who you are. But, um. I don't know who this wealthy man is, but he's a narcissist. 
He wants to control your money, your finances, tell you how to how to spend your money. This could be your boss. This could be your person. This could be your ex. But this wealthy man, he's he's he he's coming to apologize, but it's a fake. He's being made to apologize to you. So the apology he's that's coming with, it's it's just an apology from the corporation. He may be a private investigator himself. He may work for the bank or something. This could be a, a, a fake-ass apology from something to do with the courts. This could be an attorney coming with a fake apology. Whoever he is, he's a narcissistic motherfucker. And his, his, his well then is running dry. Because of the courts. Somebody, whatever they said you stole or that you was a thief, somebody did some their own investigation or hired a, a private invest, investigator secretly to watch you and to follow you because you lost your job behind. You about to get some, um, receive a, some money, a gift. Yeah. Somebody out there, somebody want to give you a gift give you a sexual gift for somebody too. Yeah, whoever whoever this snake is. If you if you got fired or you lost your job behind this snake motherfucker could be a Scorpio energy. They're either about to lose their job or they may not be able to ever retire or quit. They're going to have to work forever. Because if they stole something, if they stole some money from you, you're about, you're, something is being handed to you. Something is like being handed to you and something is coming to an end for somebody else. And I'm going to stop it right there. Peace out.